Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you how to change your font settings for various types of emails such as new messages or forwards and replies and that kind of thing. So it's pretty easy to do. So all you need to do is go to the file menu and then to options. And then from there you want to find the mail section and then under compose messages look for stationary and fonts. Click on that and then you'll have your personal stationary tab. And one thing you could do here is if you want to pick an overall theme for your emails, you know, you could do that. Most of these, I think, are pretty ugly, and they just make things kind of look worse, if you ask me. It looks like it almost has like a 90s look to it. But anyways, but we're, what we're looking at is for these font buttons here. So they have it for new mail messages. When you click on font, you could change it from the body font, which is for the newer versions of words, is, is Calibri. So you could make it a different one, and it'll show you preview in there if you want to make it bold. If you want to make it bigger, if you want to make it, you know, you know, all caps, small caps, that kind of thing. If you want to use red for your default font, which you probably don't want to do, you can make it underline if you want to do that as well, um, and so on. So we're going to check these back to the way they were because we don't want that. And then the same thing goes for replying and forwarding. You go there, you have the same sections you know, for changing whatever. And there's even advanced sections in here. So if you want to change the font scaling and, and the spacing between your letters there and positioning and that kind of thing, um, you could do that as well. And then also for when you have uh, plain text messages, you could change what font those are composed with as well. So if you're not using the HTML and just using each plain text, you could change those settings. So pretty simple. So once again, go to the file menu, then options, Look for the mail section, signatures, and stationery. Then you could just change it for each one of these, and you should be all set. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.